Hey guys, welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblog video. Today it's going to be a different video. Today we're going to be explaining just how good dungeon items can become. Now, this is as of floor 4, like floor 10 might have better items. But, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblog video. Your base stats come from fairy souls, skill levels, and slayers. Most players brew splashes, which consist of the highest level of most, if not all, the potions currently in the game. When you combine your new god splash with your base stats, the results are quite insane. So you may be wondering, what exactly makes dungeon items better than normal items? For starters, to get a dungeon item, you need to go to the blacksmith and the dungeon hub. Go to essence crafting and use your essence to increase your stats while in the catacomb. This scales with your dungeoneering level, which is what makes it so good. So after you have all your base stats tallied up, you need to put some armor on and arm yourself with a weapon. So the the best armor currently in the game that you can convert into a dungeon item is superior requiring catacombs 30 to use while it's a dungeon item the best sword you can use is the gilded mighty sword and it has to be gilded which is unlocked from a reforged stone called the midas jewel it is currently the best sword in the game you can convert into a dungeon item requiring catacombs 32 to use so now we know what the best items are just how good can they get First off, converting your item into a dungeon item is quite costly, and hitting dungeon area 50 will take quite a while, so don't expect this to happen in the near future. When you are dungeon area 50, your item gets a 600% stat boost. On top of that, the stars increase it that by a multiplicative 50%, bringing it to be 9 times more powerful while in the catacombs. After you tally up all these stats on the Gilded Mighty Sword, when maxed, it gives a whopping 3,510 damage, 2,160 strength, and 540 critical damage. The Superior Armor, when maxed, gives an insane 7,920 health, 6,408 defense, 45 true defense, 792 strength, 522 crit chance, <laughs> it only caps at 100, 792 crit damage, and 180 attack speed, which also caps at 100. So, when you tally up all the stats, you hold your gilded spider sword, put on a legendary ender dragon pet, level 100 with a lucky clover, you recombobulate every single one of your talismans in the game, including the treasure artifact, which also gets the 9 times stacking from the dungeoneering level. You will get 11,142 health, 8,062 defense, 84 true defense, 4,180 strength, 100 crit chance, 2,159 crit damage, 100 bonus attack speed, 1,848 intelligence, 133 magic find, 84 pet luck, and 400 speed. All of this will give you 909,410 effective health. Now, you may be wondering, just how much damage will this setup do? Like, how much damage? Now, we're able to find out this through damage calculation. Now, to calculate your damage, Imagine four variables. Now, if you don't know what variables are, don't get them. I'll try to simplify it as much as possible. The first one is called enchant multiplier. The multiplier you get from your enchants, like sharp six, giant killer six, all of that. The second one is your critical damage. This is your crit damage times, no, your crit damage divided by 100, times your crit chance of a decimal. So like if you have 54% crit chance, it'd be 0.54. And finally, 
base damage. The damage of your weapon plus 5. Plus your strength divided by 5. Times your strength as a decimal. Now also don't forget about combat level. Which also multiplies your damage by up to 300. No, up to 3 times at level 50. To calculate the damage dealt. You do base damage times enchant multiplier. Times combat level. Times crit chance. So after calculating all the damage. Everything. So your base damage. Your enchant multiplier. Everything you will be doing seventy million five hundred and forty seven thousand two hundred and eighty one damage. Now that's a lot of damage. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications as it really helps me out. This is totally optional, but it supports me and. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, if you're here. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!